Since they were first used as presidential vehicles, many people have always considered Lincoln to be the premium American brand of choice. The Lincoln Navigator is their top-of-the-line full-sized SUV and has had some difficult times in the past, but the recent generation has risen like a phoenix. The 2018 Lincoln Navigator is jam-packed with features, and it has a snug, high-quality fit and finish. According to the Car Complaints website, there have only been 27 complaints and 4 recalls for the Navigator. These numbers look great, even when compared to rivals like the Cadillac Escalade, the Infiniti QX80, and the Mercedes-Benz GLS class. But the issues do exist, so let's take a closer look at them. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Mechanical Problems Some users reported that when pressing the gas pedal, the car occasionally hesitates to accelerate and makes a rattling noise. Additionally, there was also a reported fire from the engine bay for an unknown reason. It was observed that the gear shifts were very difficult and jerky. There is a loud noise when transmission shifts from first to second gear, almost like someone hit the car. Additionally, it slips when you shift it into reverse. Dealers state that their scanner has no codes related to the problem. While the vehicle is in park and the key is not in the ignition, the SUV can start to move forward independently. The failure is related to NHTSA recall. Electrical Problems The steering wheel adjustment buttons only allow for forward and reverse movement. They do not raise or lower the wheel and instead make a grinding noise. Additionally, it was reported that the wheel felt loose when driving. The shift fault and other warning lights allegedly lit up for no apparent reason. After putting the car in reverse and making it difficult to maneuver, the camera was said to go black. Exterior Problems After locking the car, it was discovered that the lift gate opened by itself and the rear driver's side door opened while in motion but did not automatically lock. Recalls Regarding the 2018 Navigator model, there are currently four recalls in effect. The first one concerns seats without J-channel reinforcement brackets. The occupant might not be properly restrained if the seat moves during a collision. The next one is about the defective fuel pump. Welds in the fuel pump assembly may fracture and leak causing a fire. Dealers will swap out the high-pressure fuel pump and related parts. The third recall is related to the missing roll pin causing loss of park function. Even with the shifter in park, the car could still start rolling away. A roll pin will be installed if it is missing after the transmission has undergone inspection. The last one recall is about second row power windows may not reverse. Injury risk rises when windows don't reverse automatically because of an obstruction. Should you buy it? Despite the Navigator's slightly below $73,000 price tag, we'd say it was money well spent. The Mercedes simply isn't as roomy, refined, powerful, or opulent as the Lincoln, and on the other hand, the Infiniti just doesn't feel as modern and also lacks the power and planted drive that the Lincoln offers. The Cadillac Escalade is just as large as the Lincoln Navigator, but there is a noticeable difference in the quality of the materials used, and the drive quality of the Escalade just feels unrefined. It's evident that the Navigator won this segment, and there aren't any major issues with the vehicle that we encountered. 